Good morning. Is Jesus too busy to bless children? Today we're going to look at Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. Let me read it. Then they brought little children to him, that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. So here we have an interesting story. Jesus, do you think Jesus was a busy person? Oh, he was, he was as busy as it gets. But the disciples, the pe parents bring their children, and the disciples say, no, no, don't bring them. The master's too busy. Was Jesus too busy to bless these children? Well, we know, as we said, that he was very busy, but not too busy to bless children. You see that children are a very high priority. Everything is built on the family. You have the kingdom of God and you have the family. Those things are really at the root of all these things. And so, by the way, too, when a child is blessed, you know that the, the family is blessed as well, right? Because when a mother brings her child to Jesus to be blessed, and Jesus blesses the child, she's blessed too, isn't she? When a, when a mother and father bring their child to Jesus to be blessed, they're blessed too. When one member of the family is blessed, the whole family is blessed. So whenever Jesus blesses a child, he's, he's actually blessing a whole family. Here, the disciples are trying to help Jesus. They're trying to guard his time. And that makes sense. That's logical. That's, that's totally legitimate. However, this wasn't one of those things that was of a small matter. Jesus put this such a high priority that he overruled them, and he said, no, bring them right here. And as we saw in verse 16, he went right on ahead, and he picked up the child and blessed them. So God's blessing matters, you know, does it matter or not matter? Well, I, I believe it matters a great deal. And Jesus was just, just quick to bless the children. This is kind of like this one we saw over there uh, back in 9, chapter, uh, chapter 9, verse 33 to 37. Very similar, teaching about humility, but the difference here is that this time there's an intervention, and when the parents bring the children to be blessed, uh, they try to prevent that. So that's, that's kind of the big difference between this one and that one that's right across the page. We need to give more attention to our families, more attention to our children. Listen, we're very busy, I know we are, but out there, you know, the world doesn't sleep. The internet, YouTube, the radio, the music, the television, all these things are running 24-7. Kids go to school, what are they picking up there? Uh, people are being uh, pouring things into our children all the time. We really need to upgrade and make it a priority and we have those children. Those are very special gift God has entrusted to us. Let's make a very special effort to give them high priority so that they know they're loved and that they will value the insights and the helps that we can give them when the people would like to bring them, fill them to the brim with total nonsense and destroy their lives. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your mercies to us. Children are a blessing. And they're also pretty hard for us sometimes. Lord, we do pray that you will bless us, you'll help us to give time to our children. You know, we only get one opportunity, and the child just keeps growing, and soon they're an adult, and they're busy with many things in their life. Help us, Lord, to use the opportunities that you give us to bless our children, our grandchildren. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for this help from Jesus to remind us that blessing our children should be very I pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, we need to have our priorities in the right direction, right? God and family first, and then the church, and then everything after that. So, that's our priority set. God be with you, and bless you and your children and your grandchildren today.